Welcome inside Cavanaugh Hall here on the campus of IUPUI for Jag Sports Zone, where we bring you everything Jags athletics. I'm your host, Tyler Locke. Here, we will showcase the women's basketball team's path to history and give an update on the state of IUPUI athletics. But today, we start with the historic accomplishment. For the first time in school history, the IUPUI women's basketball team earned a spot in the NCAA tournament. After a convincing defeat against Cleveland State in the semifinals, they won 51-37 against Green Bay on Tuesday at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum to clinch the Horizon League Championship. In the first, the ball is passed around the perimeter until it finds Sydney Roll. You know you cannot leave her open. Swish! A couple possessions later, Roll returns the favor, finding Hooping Guard in the same spot as she sinks another three. Cleveland State, they never backed down in this game, but we were too strong. Emphasis on too strong as Macy Williams gets that and one to go while falling down. Right before the half ends, Williams finds Hooping Garner. Same spot, same result, right before the half as she sinks a three. Now, I want you to look closely at this Green Bay three in the third. This was the last time they scored in the entire game. Later, Rachel Micklemore with a silky smooth spin in the lane. And after that, the dagger from Destiny Perkins in the corner as our IUPUI Jags claim the Horizon League title. Senior guard Holly Hoopingarner took away another piece of hardware as she was named the tournament MVP. After the win, MVP Holly Hoopingarner spoke about what this title meant for the team and herself. You were there, you, you experienced the heartbreak in 2017. What drove you and fueled you this tournament? Obviously, two really good games. I mean, it's been a journey since then. You know, this team has changed and grown so much since 2017. But for me, I always have that in the back of my mind, um, just that feeling of we almost had it. And so this whole season was predicated on just taking it one day at a time and then uh, preparing for a moment like today. Again, what does it mean for you as a senior to, to be in this moment? Um, you know, the, the confetti flying down, you, you get the, the championship trophy. What's going through your mind at that moment? Or the MVP trophy, sir? I mean, it was an unreal experience. Honestly, I looked at somebody, I was like, this doesn't even feel real right now. <laughs> um, but just being a senior, being here in Indianapolis, being able to have our students, you know, our families, all that, you know, around us um, while we do something special, it's, it's an unreal feeling that I really can't even put into words. There is no better way to end your senior season than this. Congrats again to Holly and the entire program. And now, the sights and sounds from the trophy celebration. It's my great pleasure to present the Horizon League Championship Trophy to Austin Parkinson and the IU Fuller Jaguars. The men's golf team traveled to Holly in the Hills, Florida last Tuesday for the Orlando Invitational. Junior Keegan McCullough led the way for the Jags to 13th place out of 69 players at 228. Senior Johnny Zhu tied for 25th at 234 and Nathan Cunningham tied for 33rd at 235. The Jags posted a final round of 313 to finish 7th among the 11 teams at 941. This tournament served as a preview for the Horizon League Championships which will be played on the same course in roughly 6 weeks. The softball team traveled to Carbondale, Illinois over the weekend of March 7th for the Saluki Invitational. 
The women started off strong with a 4-2 win Saturday morning over Northern Illinois and a 2-0 win against West Illinois in the evening. Sunday was a different story when they fell 5-10 to in Northern Illinois in the afternoon and 2-6 to at Southern Illinois that night. Sunday wasn't without impressive performances, though, as Delaney Turner in her first game hit her first home run of the season and driving in three runs against the Huskies. We're going to take a quick break, so stick around, and we will be right back. People always tell you what not to do. Don't go too fast. Look, but don't touch. Professor Mohan. Don't ask questions. How do we help startups succeed? So for startup companies, the objective isn't profit. Don't wake the neighbors. Find out what you can do. IUPUI, fulfilling the promise. Welcome back, everybody. Every week, GEICO highlights athletes for their excellent contributions to their sport. Our GEICO Performers of the Week are Emil Sfeda from Women's Golf and Grant Weatherford from Men's Basketball. Congratulations to both of our GEICO Performers of the Week. As you may already know, after spring break this week, IUPUI classes will revert to distance learning until returning tentatively on April 6th to help the fight against the coronavirus. We have already seen its effect across all sports, from high school to the pros and our own communities. With this rapidly changing situation, the Horizon League Council decided this past Thursday to indefinitely suspend Horizon League sponsored sports. Competition effective Friday, March 13th. This is uncharted territory. Unfortunately for us, with no sports to cover, our show will have to go on hiatus and plan to return as soon as sports resume. With that said, we here at Jack Sports Zone are unbelievably proud of the work we put in with every athlete, manager, and coach and what it means to represent IUPUI. It has made this show so exciting for us to put together week after week. We have enjoyed talking with you, our audience, every Monday, and we hope to be back soon. We thank you all once again for tuning in for this edition of Jack Sports Zone. To keep on the latest Jag athletic news, make sure you visit IUPUIJags.com. This is Tyler Locke, signing off for now. Take care, and remember as always, go Jags.